Who's just on the pit lane? Maybe the, uh, the flies. Oh, no, there he is. He's right in behind Hensler. He's right in behind Hensler, I think, as they go. Oh, look at this. And again, somebody having to drop wheels in the pit lane. And the Corvette has a look. He can be able to break <laughs> deeper. He's going to just push that prototype straight up there. He's got more mechanic. He, he's got more oh, mechanical oh, grip. The problem there is. You go deeper into the corner in the prototype, but as the arrow comes off, you can't get the car stopped. And just as you're not being able to stop, the, the GT cars have got more mechanical grip. And um, that was an interesting pass. I'm not, I'm not sure how Frank Montaigne is going to react to that one. Flat spot on the tyres. Now, for which car? That's the question. That was the three car, thanks to Bubba Clark, who's listening in. So Bubba Clark telling us that the uh, the three car has got a flat spotted tyre. Well, I'm Several not surprised. Them. I would think them. all four, yes. <laughs> Magnussen then, pushing his way through. Nice the way he That's used... Music, it, right? yeah, well, I like the way he used Montani just to keep <laughs> uh, to keep all the doubt of his way. Yeah. Well, we had a, a snooker shot, a billiard shot earlier on when we had it. I'm not <laughs> sure what that was. How much of an analogy that you can put for that? Let's have another look at this and, uh, and see what we make of this. Oh, and in, in the thick of that, like, yeah, let's have a look at it again from the onboard. Right, now, wait for the prototype. There it is on the left. That's Frank Montani putting a little bit of a naughty move on. Oh, I touched Oberlin, in fact. They both break. And no way Bill Oberlin can't turn in because. No. <laughs> that, quite amusing. That is, I mean, look at the way. That's what we call an opportunistic pass. Madison thinks, pass, thinks there's Madison. going to be a gap up the inside if I can get to it. Oh, I've just made it bigger. Excellent. I don't know about that. That's classic. He's That's still fabulous. having trouble. And right behind him there, the, the number eight car there, that is the class leader in PC. So let's not lose track of that. We talked about it earlier on. They're going to have to work their way through these GT cars. And not very far, far back down the road is Bruno Junqueira. There is Bruno Junqueira, the red car. And at the top of the screen there, the white and yellow car. That is Carl Marcelli. That is a battle for PC. And with that move, which was uh, very much akin to bump and run, I think, to use a, an American sports analogy. Jan will be proud of that one. Well, I think he may have just pushed himself up into the hard charger reward reckoning yeah, for that yeah, one, the yeah, battery yeah. tender hard charger reward, which we uh, give out at the end of every race. Uh, that was outstanding. He's got the other contender there, Bruno Junqueira, right with him. He's making the pass down to the inside. Smooth. The inside set off. Oh, hang on, here's Montani. Here's Montani coming back at Magnussen. And I bet he's going to look across to him there. Yes, he is. You saw the flick of the head. My goodness, that Corvette's quick. Well, he's gone through, has Montani. He's got he's second to go to the break area now. And he's gone deep again. And again, though, I still think there's something not quite right with that Corvette because Jan is having a problem getting it turned into the apex of the corner. That's oh, damage to that. Uh, That's Colin Brown there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, and it's damaged at the back. Look at the left yes, rear, it is. Jeremy. Yes, it is. Now, that wasn't Jan. It's been flapping for a little while. The two BMWs are together now, of course. That's Dirk Muller and Bill Oberlin. Or Bill Oberlin and Dirk Muller, I should put them in the right order. Wolf Hensler is still only a second and a half behind them. Amazing how Muller's car is held together with the absence of that rear valance and the uh, all of the undertray flapping around. Here are the two BMWs at the top of the hill. There's Hensler behind him 